Hello again, ladies and germs, and welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. We are uh, all done with our recent target score openings. So we got some eBay items showing up. You can see here we got some packs to check out today. This is 96 Select Football Hobby Packs. We got 10 of them, 10 cards per pack. Uh, I'm not really sure what exactly makes these hobby packs because, uh, as we all know, you couldn't really find autographs back in the day. But we're going to be looking for some cool inserts. Here's some of them. The artist proofs are parallels. Uh, formidable, which they advertise on the front of the pack here. Full motion hologram chase card, which are 1 in 18 packs, so I'm not sure how that's the chase card. Building blocks, 1 in 48 packs, and then prime cut is really the chase card. 1 in 80 packs. But like I said, we're going to be looking for... Some good rookies. There are some Hall of Famer rookies in here, including Marvin Harrison, Jonathan Ogden, Eddie George. Um, I don't... I don't think... I don't know if Mike Allstott's in the Hall of Fame or not, but that's another um, good rookie we'll be looking for in here. And uh, since I'm a Patriots fan, I'm going to be on the lookout for that Terry Glenn rookie card. Pretty quick video again today. Our last few videos have been fairly fast, because they've just been packs. I do have to say, I'm not overly thrilled with the eBay seller on how these were sent, by the way. You do not send packs of cards in a bubble mailer with no protection. I mean, that's just absurd. So hopefully these aren't too dinged up. Looks like um, we do have some rough corners, and they're bricked as well, so that's pretty disappointing. Hopefully we can get these to come apart without much paper loss, but here's a look at our design. The first one is Steve Bono, and that one actually came off not too bad. Doesn't look like, um, looks like there might have been a little bit of paper loss on the next one. Here's a look at the backs. Yeah, the paper loss there. So these are going to be bricked up, which is pretty unfortunate, but I guess that's why they were only a dollar a piece. Um, but yeah, there's a look at the backs. So I haven't seen these in ages. Here's our first rookie. That's Ricky Dudley. He's a tight end for the Raiders. These are rough. Yeah, this is... Oh, man. These are all going to be ruined, I think. But there's Ricky Dudley and the back of the rookie card. It's weird. They're all horizontal, and then you just flip them like that. That's usually... Not the case, but you can see he suffered a little bit of paper loss there. Joey Galloway wiping off the sweat. He was a pretty good receiver for the Seahawks for quite a few years. Did nothing with the Patriots. Of course, he was at the end of his career. Here's Terry Kirby. This video might not be as quick as I thought, because I'm going to have to... I'm trying to be careful pulling these apart, but they're so bricked. Terry Kirby. Next we have Rodney Pete. He might be most famous nowadays for um, who he's married to, Holly Robinson Pete. She was a pretty big name. <clears throat> um, like, I guess, a sitcom actress in the 90s. Here's Ernie Mills. Oh man, I hate hearing that. Hardy Nickerson. So, yeah, that's pretty disappointing that these are. Pretty much bricked. Dave Craig. They're nice cards. It's just these ones were obviously not stored very well. There's Eric Moulds. I believe... Didn't Stefan Diggs break some kind of receiving record that Eric Moulds held for the Bills this year? I think he did. But Eric Moulds was a pretty decent receiver for the Bills back in the day. And then the last one is Greg Lloyd. And as you can see, there's some white there. So, um, yeah, these are, like, you can feel it. You can feel the brickage. But we'll, uh, see how it goes. I said I only paid, like, ten bucks for all these, so. Plus shipping. Leland McElroy. Rookie card. Looks like we have a Nice Emmett Smith coming up. I'm not sure 
what it is. It looks like it could be an insert. Orlando Thomas. And yeah, it's going the other way. So here's our Emmett Smith. This is Fluid and Fleet. So that must be a subset. And that one wasn't really too bricked. Let's take a look at the back here. Yeah, 187. So subset card. There he is with Michael Irvin all hyped up. That's the best thing we've found so far. We'll put him down. Next we have Lake Dawson. And Wayne Krebet is backwards. So I wonder if... Well, it looks like we've got a few cards backwards. I was going to say maybe it's an artist proof, but it is not just a base. It's kind of weird that these are going backwards. Let's uh, adjust that. Another Fluid and Fleet, Steve Young. He's decent there. He'll make his way into my uh, Legends and Stars binder. Mark Brunel. That is quite an unusual picture there with him holding someone's foot and stretching somebody out there. Next we have Mario Bates. Timbiaka Batuka rookie card would make his way to the Panthers. I remember him most for uh, his Michigan days. And I could try to pronounce his actual first name. It's like Shimanga Biakabatuka. Tim Biakabatuka from a buddy Doug, who is a big Michigan fan. And then the last one is Eric Zire. As we move on to pack number three. I'm trying to see if maybe I can... I would not recommend doing this to try and uh, negate the bricking. There are methods to... Um, to get your cards to not be bricked. Like, I've heard of people putting them in the microwave and then people putting them in the freezer and such. I don't know how to do any of that, so... We're just gonna take our chances here. First up, we got Drew Bledsoe. He'll definitely go in my Patriots binder. Stan Humphreys led the Chargers to a Super Bowl in 95. They got blown out by the 49ers. There's Herman Moore, Steve Young's regular base. Next we have Derek Lovell. I'm trying to hold these at a slant so everybody can see the names. Sherman Williams, not to be confused with Sherwin Williams, the paint company. There's Slash, Cordell Stewart, Moose, Daryl Johnston. We have Kevin Hardy. He had a pretty good career for the Jaguars. Kevin Hardy rookie card. And then lastly, Kimball Anders. That's kind of weird to, have, to open hobby packs from 96, because if you buy a hobby box these days, you're buying it because you're really expecting to um, pull out like a quality autograph out of there. So uh, what is it that people were looking for out of hobby boxes back in these days? Let me know in the comments, I'm not quite sure because in 96 I was only 11 years old, so I certainly wasn't uh, purchasing any hobby boxes. I never even opened, like, a complete wax box of cards until I was an adult. Aeneas Williams, Hall of Famer. Kerry Collins, I think that's his second year, and that pretty much sums up his career right there, getting drilled in the backfield. Rodney Thomas for the... They were still the Houston Oilers at that point. Ken Norton Jr. He's a coach now with uh, Seahawks, I think. And here we go. Here is, is this a, it's a formidable, our first one, the quote-unquote chase. And the hologram is uh, seen better days. But it's Reggie White, the Hall of Famer. So that's a pretty decent one out of that checklist there. Rest in peace to the Minister of Defense. Blew out my Patriots in the Super Bowl in, uh, what, like, 97? Or 90, I don't even remember. It was a bad one. But it looks like we have the AFC and NFC helmets colliding with one another there, even though it's very hard to see now. Yancey Thigpen is up next. Then we have Bobby Ingram, rookie receiver for the Chicago Bears. Quinn Early. Thurman Thomas, 
will join these guys down here, and so will Willie McGinnis. This is his um, third year. Pretty sure his rookie year was 93. Or it might have been 94. Perhaps 95? I can't even remember now. It was the same year as Falk. Marshall Falk. So I think it was... Uh, I think it was 94. Here's our second Steve Young. These aren't really sliding apart. This is another Steve Bono, so some repeats here. I'm wondering if the seller, like, I don't know, maybe they pulled whatever they were looking for and then decided it was time to get rid of the rest of these. Curtis Martin, Hall of Famer, best known for his time with the Jets. He'll make his way onto the table. Checklist featuring our guy Drew Bledsoe. Next we have Tyrone Wheatley. I don't know how I feel about these horizontal cards. There's the first rookie that we're looking for. Set the rest of these down on the table. Mike Allstott was an absolute friggin' beast. Fullback, but I don't know, was he a fullback or a running back? I think he was both, really. But there's our first decent rookie as I make a mess of all these cards that were down on the table. We'll center up that one, the first rookie we've been looking for that we found. And next we have another insert. It's not a rookie, but it's rookie year. For the Patriots, Terry Glenn. I believe this was the draft pick that prompted the famous Bill Parcells press conference where he said, um, if you're going to do the shopping, they ought to let you pick the groceries. 16 of 20, building blocks. Terry Glenn. Nice looking insert there. Next up is Charles Haley. Mr. Join the best team in the league himself. And then the final one is Rodney Hampton. We've got one, two, three, four, five packs remaining, so we're halfway through this. So, longer video than I thought it would be, just because we're going to go a little bit slower with these. But overall, these are not... Um, I was expecting these to be super dinged up because of the way the seller packaged them. Rodney Thomas... Starts off, more doubles again. Only a 200 card set, so you're bound to get that. I'm trying to pull that off easily. Eric Pegram. Yeah, these are not, not too simple to pull apart here. Derek Holmes. It's all that mid-90s gloss. Lee Woodall. And now we're going the other direction with Tony Martin. Whatever this card is here got dinged pretty bad. If you're selling packs of cards, people, do not send them in a bubble mailer with no cardboard or anything. That's just ridiculous. Chris Warren, Fluid, and Fleet. Behind him we have another Chris Warren. I'm going to find out which card got the mangling here soon. And this one's got some, uh, I guess, gloss loss, which is unfortunate because it's Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Only a checklist, but still, that kind of sucks. And of course, it was a good player. Brett Favre got completely destroyed basically that's too bad and so did another Tim Biaka Batuka rookie card but we've been seeing some doubles so maybe we'll get lucky and um, find a far in better shape to add to our binder now you can hear the cracking oh god unfortunate but what can you do Jim Kelly We have Aaron Bailey. Saw that eight on the Colts jersey and got a little bit excited that it might be the Harrison rookie, but obviously the other rookie cards are, I mean, kind of, well, mostly showing guys in their 
college uniforms, Ricky Waters, Bill Brooks, these are coming better uh, apart a little bit better, Natrone Means, that was my guy back in the day, there's Terry Glenn's base, so that was another one that I was looking for, Kevin Green, RIP, passed away a couple months back, Rashad Salam, he is also no longer with us unfortunately, Jeff Lewis, rookie card, not sure what happened to him down there, and then the last one is Sean Dawkins, so you can see why the Colts needed to draft a receiver <laughs> with Sean Dawkins and then whoever the hell that other guy was that I briefly mistook for a Marvin Harrison. Three packs to go here. Thanks for uh, sticking with us, everybody. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, we appreciate all the support we can get. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Jake Reed, he's a good receiver. Oh, we skipped over Rick Meyer. That's okay, though, because here is the Eddie George rookie card. Again, a little bit of white on that bottom left corner. It's kind of hard to see. But Eddie George, very good running back. Long time with the Houston and then Tennessee Oilers. Creating quite the tandem with Steve Air McNair. Another Mike Allstott rookie card. So I'll have to compare this one. I think this one is I don't know. Both of them are in pretty good shape, honestly. I'll have to look at them a little more closely. Eric Zier and then Jackie Harris, last one there. So two All-Star rookies. Terry Glenn's base and then building blocks. And then Eddie George rookie as well. Who are we missing so far? Marvin Harrison. Uh, I already forgot. <laughs> Definitely Marvin Harrison is one that we're still searching for. Herman Moore, Fluid and Fleet. We go back to Horizontal with Carnell Lake. No relation to Ricky. Daryl Gardner, rookie card. I want to find me a Barry Sanders too, actually. Brian Cox. What do we got here? Nope. Nothing, just going the opposite direction. Robert Smith. Uh, Alex Molden. Got a little bit of the paper loss there. Yeah, these, don't, these ones are pretty st stuck. Ah, God, I hate that. That's okay, it's only Gus Farratt. Nobody got it as bad as that Brett Favre. Craig Hayward. There's a nice Jerry Rice. More paper loss. A little bit there. But we'll take it nonetheless. And then Andre Coleman, the last one there, as we hit our final pack of 96 Select Hobby. Too much gloss on these back in the day. But of course, um, you don't really think about that when, uh, where's text messaging me? Leave me alone. <laughs> they don't really think about that when they're making the cards. Like, oh, somebody's going to open this 20 years from now and cards are all going to be stuck together. Like th these ones are here. Here's Lawrence Phillips rookie card. Huge rookie bust. Very talented guy. Just couldn't keep himself out of trouble. Chris Sanders. Here's Fluid and Fleet Eric Tourette. I don't know how much these packs would have gone for back in the day, but whatever it was, Carl Pickens, I would say it probably was too much. Jeff Graham, there's another Jake Reed, Joey Galloway, Scott Mitchell, Alvin Harper, still weird seeing him with a Buccaneers jersey. Most people, of course, remember with the Cowboys. And our last one is another Thurman Thomas, so... Uh, Let's see, one of my favorites. I really like the Reggie White Formidable, even though the um, hologram isn't the best. Eddie George, another good one. Two Mike Allstott rookie cards there. And we also came across Terry Glenn, 
which you couldn't really see on the screen, but there's Terry Glenn and the insert as well. So I did pretty good on finding Patriots, uh, but didn't didn't find a Barry Sanders, and then of course paper loss on a lot of these and uh, dinged corners because some people should not be selling cards on eBay because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, but regardless, still fun rip anyways. I don't ever come across these, so for a buck a piece, what the heck, I'll take a chance on it. So again, thanks for tuning in, everybody. That's all we have for you today. And we will see you again real soon for some more Headlocks and Hot Packs.